using Hezbollah and Hamas as its proxies, uh, murdering the 19 uh, airmen at Kobar Towers, as Mrs. Rajavi referred to in 1996, blowing up uh, embassies and Israeli cultural centers in Argentina, uh, attacks against uh, the United States, which continue every day in Iran, and Af in, in Iraq and Afghanistan, as you heard uh, the Commandant refer to. Uh, we have a long and painful history here, but we have not acted boldly and, as someone said, in coordination with our values that are so important with respect to freedom and liberty. And we see the current uh, trend uh, now. When the Kobar Towers were attacked uh, by an Iranian IRGC operation in 1996, there was no question about that. Uh, we reacted by denying, uh, by hiding, and by avoiding the reality of that attack. And this continues now, uh, even as of last week, with respect to an outrageous assassination plot, not only against the ambassador from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, but many, many Americans who could have been attacked. And we heard even insinuated in some of the official statements that we weren't sure how high in the regime uh, this plan was discussed and, and approved. Well, anybody who knows how the Quds Force operates and how this regime operates knows that nothing of that magnitude could even be discussed, let alone put into operation, without the most senior levels of the government, to call it that for a moment, approving. So an IRGC operation uh, is the hand and the action of the Supreme Leader. And the United States, again, is put in the position it's been put in for over 20 years in reacting to the threat. So how do we react? Well, one of the ways we react is to delist the MEK and do it immediately. I was very pleased to see our government's reaction finally in Libya. I was pleased to see that uh, even very lately uh, in the game, our State Department and President finally condemned the regime uh, in Damascus. This is all very great, ladies and gentlemen. But we're not dealing with the largest, most imminent and dangerous threat, not just against the United States, but against all the flags that are represented here and then some. And that's a regime that operates uh, by terror as an official foreign policy. Uh, there are some very good things that are happening, but they're not happening, quite honestly, fast enough. Uh, the delisting uh, has to happen because that provides a shield and a license to avoid dealing with the regime in Iran. Uh, there has to be, ultimately, some proactive, aggressive actions by the United States to support Iranian freedom and to do so with all deliberate speed. I spent a large part of my adult life protecting people, even sometimes people that I didn't like or think uh, were doing the things that should be done, but there's an obligation to protect. And in this case, the United States has a solemn obligation to protect, in writing, guaranteed by America, uh, to make sure that even as the jurisdiction of the camp was turned over to the Iraqis, we would ensure the protection of these individuals. And the threat is imminent, it's present. Uh, it has to be uh, addressed aggressively by the United States. So we say today, again, to our government, uh, that you know, this, is not, uh, this is not a, a secret uh, fact. This is not a, uh, a matter which has not been given the full attention of governments, including the UN, and that the President of the United States and our Secretary have a moral obligation uh, and a duty to protect, and that that, uh, that obligation uh, needs to be uh, enforced and honored. And if it's not, ladies and gentlemen, you're, 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 you're going to hear, I mean, I can predict you're going to hear, not just from my American colleagues here today, but many others, on both sides of the political spectrum that the obligation here by the United States, which is what our agenda is about here in part today, uh, if that is not met, the United States will have direct uh, moral responsibility for those results. 
and we will continue uh, this fight. We will continue uh, this speaking out, this writing, this uh, media work. Uh, but in the end, the United States has to meet its moral obligation. And it's, uh, it's these kinds of forums, Madam Rajavi, uh, which allow our message to continue to flow in the right direction. So thank you all very much for your support.